Right guys, today I'm doing a video on how to catch a carp on a method feeder and I catch one carp, one bream and how to catch minnows for live bait and how I'd live bait them for perch and trout Hope you enjoy This was just my day off, my fishing trip I had a good time, absolutely shot now Keep fishing guys, have a good one Right, I've got to the lake now my last few sessions, my first one were there, and my last two have been there. Now, I, this time, I want to try fishing down there, maybe in open water, but I really like around these two islands, so I think I'm going to start between two islands where I've pretty much been baiting up from yesterday, from a cross pond, like, right, get set up. A lot of activity, but I ain't had a nibble yet. I ain't had a nibble yet, so I feel like the best thing to do when you haven't got much bait in water is to uh, keep replacing your method feeder every five minutes until you get a good amount of bait in water, start getting a few bites, and then you can uh, slow it down a bit. But, right, you're going to need a sensitive rod. This is your method feeder. Main line onto a swivel through your method feeder so that can slide up and down then a short hook link that's probably a little bit too long now I have messed about with hair rigs but I've found that uh, I've got the same results with or without hair rigs so I'm not going to bother using one what you do is you put your hook bait in first then you put your slightly dampened pellets or ground bait which is a mixture of two in and put a little bit of iron and you squeeze it on you could do this all by hand except when you've got it you could never get it, it that nice by hand so yeah, now I'm going to cast it out I might change to just in front of Ireland just in front of left Ireland Now you'd think that that's come off, but I promise you it hasn't, and I've seen a lot of action in that exact spot. But we're going to have to move this bank stick, so I'll show you how you set it. Right. What you want to do, pull tight to your feeder. Tight to your feeder. Make sure you rub that block quite man. Pull tight to your feeder, you want to be at about a 45 degree angle. And then you pull tight. So we've got a bit of tension on line. I use like a five degree uh, tension. So your uh, end of your rod tip is under tension. Now that'll show you when you've got a bite. Hopefully you can see that just about. And then when you get a bite, your rod will either wrap round or go completely straight again. Now. It's a good idea to be sat next to your rod, obviously, because your rod could fall in. But you don't want to be picking it up at every little wibble and wobble. Bit of action going off there, maybe I should have put it in the middle. But I'm going to stick to there for a minute. I'm also going to have a float rod as well, just, just in case. Right, wish me luck. I'm starting to get a lot more nibbles as I call them. Now that might be just fish swimming about, cruising about, knocking into my line. Or it might be fish playing with me at a feeder. Now, I still don't know which. Now because obviously your lines are 
like quite a shallow angle. Fish are going to swim into it, but hopefully it could be my ground baits bringing them into area. I don't know. Just about ready for another cast out again. It's been at about six, seven minutes. But yeah, I've seen a lot of activity and a lot of nibbles. I've turned camera on so you can see one of them nibbles I went about, but obviously because I've turned camera on, you're not going to see one. This is like prime feeding time, so should be in for a bite soon. Been here about nearly half an hour. I think this is my third cast. This next one will be my fourth. But remember, I, I baited up. Uh, my first cast was between islands, and I decided against it. I don't know why. Just did. Right, I was just about to um, reel in, and I had a massive uh, twang on line. And this might be bad advice. It might not be, but that that's either a fish proper bumping my line, or it was a bite that didn't hook up and maybe I should have struck on it but it all happened really quick so I'm going to get one minute and then I'm going to, if not happens I'm going to reel in and bait up again just wait and see if you can see another bite or a nibble it's not really a bite and I'll also when it it comes in I'll check my bait although the bait could have come off because um, barbless few more casts in and not but more nibbles but uh switch to an air rig beast gone now see if that makes a difference see if they're just being a bit spooky plus i'll all use a new kind of hook that i'm not too uh confident in curved hook don't have much luck float fishing with curved hooks so we'll see we'll see first fish up there little bream nah Oh, these fish are slimy. Now, to be honest, I don't really like catching them. They're the only fish that I class as a nuisance fish. And that's because they slime it and they don't fight. But, look at that. Oh, it's like snot. But we're going back. Oh, don't flick off Matt, mate. Hardly fight, and it were a drop back bite, which means my line went slack all of a sudden. Try and get a carp. Just had another carp, but I didn't press record properly. Got a picture of it, I'll put that in now. So there you are, quite a nice carp. Mirror cap, but um, just thought I'd show you what I see while well, I'm sat here. Well, so I'm sat in my chair like that, and what I do is I lean over one side of my chair, nice and comfy, and I look down top of my rod so I can see bikes better because this is not a proper rod that you should be using for this type of fishing, but it works. And I'm literally fishing right in the centre of the screen now. I had to go on an errand and uh, on the way back. You can't keep me away from a river for too long, so <laughs> I managed to get a tiny little grub from digging around with uh, dirt, which I really enjoy this type of fishing, just finding a little bit of bait and catching these beautiful fish. Gorgeous. Now, brown trout uh, babies and salmon par look a little bit like this except where the black goes to white they have like yellow circles but yeah very similar what I'm doing it what I'm doing is I'm catching the minnows from around the rocky areas they hide under rocks and stuff and then I'm putting them in my uh, rock pool live well where is it is there there we go and I'm gonna use them as perch bait or grayling or trout over there 
Right, this is float fishing for minnows. I've showed you set up and that. You'll probably see bites, but you might. I might not have enough video for me to uh, get one because it's so hard for them to fit bait in the mouth. That's bite. See it? Look. Oh, that was bite. Ah, oh, I miss him. I'm blaming that on you guys. Just start float fishing for minnows. Just to use as live bait. Found this instead of putting them in a rock pool, so I'm going to use that. But yeah, you're basically only limited on the amount of bait you've got. But it is difficult because you've got to get their mouth to fit in that. Now I've just got a simple float rig set up with uh, a BB right at the bottom and the smallest took that I had on me. So yeah, I'll, I'll try and show you some of that. But bad thing is, only bait I've got left are dirty leeches and I don't really want to touch them. I'm alright with worms, but leeches are a bit... Ugh. Right, I keep trying to get on camera for you guys. I've got a minute of footage left. And I keep going back, deleting it, trying to go... Yeah, I got one! Can you see? Oh, I've snagged him. Poor lad. I'll use him as uh, bait first, live bait first. Right. Right. Float set up exactly the same, but just with a minute and... Just caught a really nice brown trout. Whoa. I haven't brought my neck, so I'm only expecting a few perch. So I'm going to unhook him in water. Whoa, whoa. don't snag me.